I decided to open every specialty set that was released for the Sword and Shield era, letting you guys know which ones you should spend your hard earned money and which ones you shouldn't touch, even with a 10 foot pole. Retail market value, but oh my god, is a shiny Charizard. Oh my god! During this era, the Pokemon Company did release five specialty sets, starting from Champion's Path, Shining Fates, Pokemon Celebrations, Pokemon Go, and now on Crown Zenith. Now, what makes a specialty set? This set does not use a generation-based series as part of the title. For example, we have Sword and Shield Evolving Skies, and then we have Pokemon Celebrations. Now that we know what a specialty set is, what's the criteria we'll be using to determine which is the absolute best first affordability do so you have to sell an arm and a leg in order to even be able to buy products from this set second availability can you go out to any big box store right now and find the product third chase cards slash artworks within the set how many cards have a relatively high value and if other cards have great or poor artworks and then the fourth criteria any special outliers for example are they connected to any anniversaries do they cross over to video games or do they include subsets within them we'll be opening up a single elite trainer box for each set which contains 10 booster packs for each in every single one of these elite trainer boxes there are gonna feature a promo card within them presented in the order of worst to best so let's start cracking packs so in the number five spots we have Pokemon celebrations released in October 2021 during the lockdown because of this Pokemon card collecting had a massive rise causing the Pokemon card company to struggle to meet the demand of new card collectors it did surprisingly receive a restock in the winter of 2022 but fast forward to 2023 and now you can't find these products in your normal big box stores and funny enough this is actually going to be the first time i'm opening up pokemon celebrations the promo card for it is going to be the greninja gold star absolutely beautiful card that is a shiny greninja this is going to be my only copy of the greninja gold star so it's going to be a cool card to add to my collection pro card for that elite trainer box now within the elite trainer box we did get 10 packs of pokemon celebrations and additional five packs featuring sets throughout the sword and shield era we're not going to use the normal sets to calculate if pokemon celebrations is a set worth opening one sad thing is that only four cards come but within each pack so you don't get too many chances of getting hits within this set and there's no card trick i believe with pokemon celebrations you just kind of have to go through it and see if you get any hits with it oh let's go we got a dawn fan from the plastic collection which is a subset within pokemon celebrations and this set does feature old artwork from previous generation pro card for you guys which is awesome which allows newer pokemon card collectors and enjoy previous generations it features such cards as three original starters and gold magic card now when this elite trainer box did originally release it was at the about the 60 dollar retail market value value but oh my god i did not expect to pull the chase card for darkness ablaze the charizard v max this is absolutely insane again we're not taking this into effect of whether or not celebrations is worth opening but this is absolutely insane now in order to buy an elite trainer box of pokemon celebrations pro card for you guys you normally have to drop ninety dollars to a hundred dollars hey let's go bro i cannot believe that we're pulling absolute bangers from this pokemon celebrations elite trainer box this is actually one of my personal chase cards mega rayquaza ex but like how they said i did have to pay roughly like a hundred dollars in order to even get this which if you're working on a budget this would not be a product I recommend new card collectors because you can buy a nice variety of current sets to offer greater pulls pro card for you guys and this product being valued so oh let's go we got a venusaur as well from the classic collection this is one of the artworks of the original three starters of pokemon they just have a different holographic pattern and the stamp of the pokemon celebrations all right into the vivid voltage pack it's funny how low i'm ranking this and i'm actually getting pretty awesome bangers from this set and nothing but like how i was saying before oh being over price is the sole issue of this elite trainer box because the most expensive pokemon celebration product 
is going to be the Pokemon Celebrations Ultimate Premium Collection box, which funny enough, I actually have behind me right there, where that Ultimate Premium Collection box is going to be worth $360 roughly, which again, reinforces the thought you can buy so many current sets in the Sword and Shield era instead of dropping $360 on only one product. All right, now moving on to that Battle Styles that was in that ETB pro card for you guys. Now again, the chase card for this um, Battle Styles is going to be that Sleeping Tyranitar. Let's just blaze on through <laughs> Santa Camp, Santa Conda twice, and might as well finish off that last bonus booster pack with Chilling Rain. And Chilling Rain is one of my favorite sets, but focus too much on this just because again we're focusing on Pokemon specialty sets instead of the main sets with throughout the Sword and Shield era. All right, down to three packs of celebrations. Now every card in here. The lowest hit you're gonna get is a holographic and there's only really two chase cards one of them being a Mew <laughs> and a Charizard that you can find opening up the celebrations booster packs the other two chase cards within Pokemon celebrations are going to be a hey, let go let's go and a Zekrom classic collection again nicely textured as well into a surfing Pikachu V max but like I said the only two other cards are going to be a Charizard again and a Pikachu which are going to be gold metal cards which you can find within that Pokemon Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection box. Ooh, nothing for the last pack. The next set we have is going to be Champion's Path. Now this is the first specialty set that was released during the Sword and Shield era. It was released in September of 2020 during the lockdown and due to this fact, you're no longer able to find this product in your big box stores and similar to Celebrations, it caused the price for Champion's Path products to skyrocket. Code card for that Elite Trainer box. Now the the promo card featured for that Champion's Path ETB is going to be a Charizard V. Absolutely awesome artwork. Now again, this is going to be the first time ever that I am opening up Champion's Path. Here's the code card for you guys. Again, while I am excited to open this set for the first time, I'm not proud with how much I spent for this Elite Trainer box. Cause I had to drop $90 well actually a hundred dollars and because of that price I do not recommend this product for new Pokemon card collectors because again you can find you can use that same hundred dollars to buy newer products with higher chances of pulling hits from the packs hey let's go and Incineroar V Wild Champions Path does not have too many hits within it it only has two chase cards within that set now those two chase cards are gonna be that Charizard that you saw in the front of the box of this Champions Path Elite Trainer box one's a rainbow Charizard and the other is a shiny Charizard oh my god god no freaking way I actually pulled a Charizard V Max from what was that one two three four five six seven from my third pack of champions path that is absolutely insane and i was actually thinking of keeping that etb sealed because of how good of a condition it was i'm so happy that i decided to open it up definitely going to sleeve this card up really quick but we got to keep it moving so this opening is actually turning out to be pretty awesome opening. I was actually going to wait to record this video the next day instead of tonight. But I'm so happy that I decided to just go ahead and open this. But like I was saying before I got starstruck from that rainbow Charizard VMAX. If you don't hit those two Charizard chase cards within this set, you literally lose out on so much money. While this set does offer your V stars, your V full arts secret rares rainbow rares v maxes it kind of is lackluster in the art designs it is very basic and if we're talking about individual card values after the charizards the next biggest hits within champions path literally dropped down to below ten dollars so this is a really brutal set within oh wow i did not know that there were actually reverse holographic energy cards within this set honestly very surprised Let's see what we got for a rare. Nothing. All right, moving on to the third to last pack for the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. Pull card for you guys. That is still absolutely insane that I managed to pull that Rainbow Charizard VMAX. I honestly did not expect that I was going to pull such an insane card. Literally the number one card 
for this set and and it's kind of funny how low i'm actually placing it within this tier list it didn't even make it to the top three but i mean that's just the way it goes sometimes last pack of champions path even with a little luck to new pokemon card collectors is still one that i would not recommend just because of that price tag again you can spend a hundred dollars somewhere else for newer sets and actually have a more pleasant opening because i got two hits within that one elite trainer box and there's a good chance you may not even pull a single hit from one elite trainer box but i would definitely recommend any of these next three specialty sets in third place we have pokemon go now this set did release in, in july of 2022 so this set is readily available you can even find these products for under retail value all right code card for you guys for that elite trainer box and codes for you guys for the pokemon go mobile game and again this elite trainer box also came with a promo card mewtwo v awesome promo now even though a lot of people give pokemon go a lot of underwhelming reviews i actually really really appreciate what the pokemon company the fact that the pokemon company tried to incorporate a crossover between the tcg and the video game aspect i see that there's a hit back here let's see what we got hey let's go we got a dragon star a dragon knight v star now the crossover aspect of this set doesn't stop at just the code cards a lot of the artworks uh, feature a augmented reality artwork that is a feature in the actual games where you can connect your camera to the actual game and you physically get your favorite pokemon in the physical world and of course this set offers your, your rainbow rares your alternate arts your full arts it also has a subset which are radiant pokemon essentially the newest version of shiny pokemon instead of just giving you one shot at a good card in the rare spot it gives you a chance to pull a radiant pokemon in the reverse holographic spot oh my god yes let's go so i'm not sure if you guys are able to see that this bidoof card has a ditto right next to the set logo though it is a bit of a gimmick this is a peelable card this is actually the first time that i'm going to be able to peel this card not exactly sure on how to go through about it oh right there let's go and it actually started peeling really easily Oh, let's go! The peelable ditto card, finally! After so many packs of Pokemon Go, they just made Ditto's transformability into an actual gimmick within the set, which I absolutely love. And like how I said, that was actually the first time I ever pulled a, the Ditto card. I kind of wanted to keep that peelable cover on the card, but I also wanted to show you guys how fun that gimmick actually was. So hopefully within this opening, I can get another. Ooh, and Charizard Holographic. That's also one thing where the holographics are going to be the lowest rare card you can pull. Now let's get back to the topic of the artworks. This set actually has several chase cards. Roughly five that are over $20, which are the Mewtwo V alternate full art. And then the Pokemon Catcher Gold card. We have yet to pull a Radiant Pokemon. And I really hope I can pull a Radiant card so I can show you guys how they actually look look three of the radiant cards that you can pull from this set are going to be radiant charizard venusaur and last toys and a con Kelder v not the card we were looking for but still a wonderful hit but if push comes to shove i can just show you guys some b-roll of the previous two times that i actually managed to pull a radiant charizard <laughs> and a Rattata twice. Let's see what we got for rare and nothing. Second to last pack for Pokemon Ghost. This is definitely a set that I would recommend for new Pokemon card collectors because it, this set offers so many awesome artworks along with incorporating the Pokemon Go aspect. All right, let's see if we can get some last pack magic. Oh, wow. This code card got chewed up right there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there you go. Like how I was saying, you can normally pay under retail value for this set. Nothing in reverse or graphic spot. Let's see what we got for a rare and nothing not too many hits from pokemon go but i'm just happy that i managed to show you guys the peelable ditto card literally the first time for myself the next set we have is shining fate now this set did release all the way back in february 2021 during the lockdown and yet it is still readily available you can literally find this set for under retail value and that promo card is going to be a ev v max and ev is one of my favorite pokemon of all time because he reminds me so much of my dog. The code card for that Shining Fates is the trainer box. Now, Shining Fates is actually going to be one of my favorite sets. 
even though I've opened like six elite trainer boxes of Shining Fates, I just can't get enough of this set because it has such amazing artwork. It features, of course, your full art, gold cards, alternate arts, but as the name implies, it incorporates shiny Pokemon. So in reverse holographic spot, you can actually get what are known as baby shiny Pokemon instead of reverse holographic and speaking of the devil. So this is what's considered a baby shiny Pokemon. It's the shiny form of that Pokemon within the subset of the shiny vault. All right, let's see what we got for our rare. Ooh, nothing. Now, of course, this set only has one actual chase card, which is going to be a shiny Charizard, just like in Champion's Path. And again, there's going to be a steep, steep drop off between the one chase card and then the next most valuable card within the set. Code card for you guys. But again, because of that shiny vault, which is the subset within this set, I have literally have not gotten tired of it because you literally get nearly like 200 plus cards within this set featuring such amazing artwork like this all right let's see what we got for our rare oh and a creamy v max rainbow rare let's go unlike other sets within the sword and shield era i've literally put so few doubles for the shiny fates set which is something that i'm so happy and relieved to oh my god let's go and we got a cinderace v max absolutely beautiful card now for the baby shiny cards it does feature one of my favorite legendary pokemon which is suicune and it also features a few alolan starters oh let's go this is possibly one of the best boxes of shiny face that i've ever had i can't believe i already have four or five hits and we're barely halfway through the booster packs let's see what we got for a rare and a professor's research like how i was saying i'm having such a blast with this set literally five hits within five booster packs and honestly no repeats whatsoever what more can you ask for but i know i can ask for one more thing let's see if we can get second charizard v max come on come on let's see if we got anything oh also i forgot that within shiny fates there's also another subset which are called amazing rares absolutely incredible i completely forgot about this which is another reason why i love this set all right let's see what we got for our rare and a Volcanion. All right, down to the last two packs of the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. If you guys have been enjoying the video, please hit that subscribe button. Absolutely insane luck. And I hope you guys are getting some good information from this Pokemon card opening. Hopefully you can save a good handful of change. Oh, and a Cinderace V for our last card. Again, I cannot get enough of Shining Fates. Within 10 booster packs, I managed to get 7 hits. Shining Fates is definitely a set to open up for new collectors. And drum roll, please, for the best specialty set during the Sword and Shield era. And it's gonna be Brown Zenith. Now, this set did just release in January 2023, and this set is readily available. Though, because it is the current set, you aren't really gonna find it lower than retail value all right code card for you guys for that elite trainer box and of course this comes with a promo card let's see what it is and it's the lucario v star absolutely awesome artwork but it shouldn't be to anyone's surprise that i decided to choose crown zenith as the best specialty set in the sword and shield era how uh, where to begin this set has so many amazing cards within it i cannot believe that we actually managed to pull a galarian gallery card which is a subset in crown zenith you can find it in the reverse holographic spot this set has the largest number of cards for a specialty set and it is thanks to that subset of the galarian gallery in which you can find fully textured cards Arts, full arts alternate arts and of course in the rare spot it features so many amazing artworks code card for you guys and the uh, top five cards for this set is actually going to be Giratina, Arceus, Palkia, and Dialga, V-Stars secret rares and a Mewtwo V-Star hey and a Zacian V I think this is the first time pulling Zacian V or it might be the second honestly I'm not 100% sure the reason I'm unsure is because I've actually opened 
gotten an insane amount of Crown Zenith booster packs. Road card for you guys. And I've gotten an insane amount of doubles within this set. It is some type of special talent that I have. We're starting on our fifth pack. And we already got two hits. Not bad on a hit ratios for a il normal elite trainer box. For the top Galarian gallery card within this set is going to be one of my favorite legendary dogs. Hey, not the card I was going to be talking about, but I still take it. This Keldeo is a double for me, at least. Possibly even a triple. Let's see what we got for our rare. Hannah Hoopa. Like I was saying, one of my favorite legendary dogs is Suicune, and it is the top Galarian gallery card. Actually, I was misspeaking the entire time because the top seven cards within Crown Zenith are Galarian Gallery cards. I'm not the only one who thinks it, but honestly, the subsets in the Pokemon TCG is what saved the Pokemon trading card game. And we got a Radiant Charger Bug. You can even see it's a shiny Charger Bug compared to its regular coloring. All right, let's see what we got for a rare and a Snorlax. This set has such amazing artwork within it. And technically speaking, if we're talking about individual card values, there are a total of 20 cards within this set that are worth $20 and above. Ooh, nothing there. And of course, I would absolutely love to pull Garatina V-Star, Arceus, Palkia, Dialga, any of those cards, or even Anna Sharon's Care. And this is actually like the fourth time I've gotten Sharon's Care. But let's see what we got for our rare. Anna Toros. All right, now down to our last pack of Crown Zenith and the last pack of this video. Can we get some last pack magic code card for you guys all right let's count it with me guys six five four three two oh let's go we got a swablu glaring gallery card this is the second to last card let's see what we got for our rare and a one oh <laughs> i messed up Oh, let's go and we got a Rayquaza VMAX. Rayquaza is one of my top five most favorite legendary mythical Pokemon. There you have it trainers, the definitive tier list for the specialty sets that released during the Sword and Shield era. Not really, they're all of course in my personal opinion. I hope this helps you decide where to spend your hard earned cash. If you did get some value from this video, please hit that subscribe button as I'd greatly appreciate it. I do upload a new card opening every Tuesday and if you enjoyed this video, Video, you definitely like this video over to my left hand side and as always no matter how hard your road to victory is train on gamers